how to reduce your stress and calm down using one very simple law of attraction tool. Today, I'm not only going to tell you how to do it, I'm actually also going to give you the tool and help you do it. So stick around and learn how to instantly reduce your stress and reach a state of peaceful calm. Guild Coaching, more success, less stress. There is one simple tool that can help you reach a state of calm instantly. It will reduce your stress and it will reduce your anxiety. It is a tool practiced by many people who believe and practice the law of attraction. If you've been practicing the law of attraction or LOA for years, it will work for you. And if this is the first time that you've even heard of LOA, it can work for you as well, just as easily. For you newbies to LOA, simply put, it just means that what you focus on is what you're going to bring into your life. So if you focus on negative things, the negative things will grow and will seem bigger in your life. If you focus on positive things, then the positive things will grow and become bigger in your life so that your next moment has those things in it. So those more positive things are part of your future current life. Hopefully that makes sense. The tool that I want to share with you today that is used worldwide that helps all practitioners of the law of attraction and can work for you to instantly reduce your stress is positive affirmations. Here on Guild's YouTube channel, we have an entire playlist with guided sessions and affirmations just for you. And the reason that we have this here, we have so many of them, is that we encourage our clients to practice these things on a daily basis. Check out the video description below. There's a link to a couple of different sessions, certainly not all of them, but a few different ones that you can check out that would be good, especially if you are a newbie. Today, I not only want to tell you what the tool is and give you those recordings to help guide you through using it, but I also want to explain how they change your brain because this is actually science. And that is where I get really excited. I'm such a science geek. Researchers have linked negative self-talk to increased stress and anxiety and reduced self-esteem. Those two things together reduce motivation, which then hurts our performance at work and in our personal life. And all of that together helps promote depression. So this is a really serious problem. They've actually linked it to losing brain matter. That means negative self-talk kills brain cells. All of that can lead to clinical depression. So it's definitely something that we have to stop doing. Many, many people who first come to me for coaching have a lot of negative dialogue in our conversation. And part of my job is to point out those patterns to them. It's called pattern language recognition. By practicing that pattern language recognition, I can then introduce pattern interrupts that help to break that cycle of negative self-talk. Though this does work, my clients can't spend 24 hours a day with me. So how do they practice this outside of our session time? Simple. They use positive affirmations. Not only do you have those tools that I've already told you about that I've linked below and that are here on our guided session playlist on YouTube, but I'm going to also teach you today how to write and practice your own affirmations so that you can have more brain matter, more brain cells, clearer thinking, and a more positive outlook. Because the inner dialogue that we have with ourselves does impact the outer communication that we have with everyone else in the world. And it can also make or break our success. Here's step number one to creating your own positive affirmations. The first step is examine your self-talk. If you don't really know what I mean by self-talk, 
check out the video description below. There's a link there to a website where you can schedule an exploratory session with me. I can examine your self-talk and then make recommendations on how you can improve that in other areas of your life. You need to know what you're saying to yourself. If you're telling yourself negative things about your body or about your choices or about how you communicate with others, or if you're even negative about other people who are in your life all the time, those things are all breeding a negative environment inside your brain. So you have to examine your self-talk. How does that create positive affirmations for you if you are finding the places where you have negative self-talk? Simple. What's the opposite of negative? It's positive. So as you are examining your negative self-talk, I want you to pick up your pen and get your journal. And I want you to write down the things that you say to yourself that would make you upset if someone was saying the same things to your mother or your sister, or your best friend or your daughter, the person that you love most in the world. Write down the things that would really get under your skin if somebody was saying those things to that person. And that's probably a good indication of your negative self-talk. And then when you're looking at them on the paper, ask yourself, is this really true? Usually it's not. Usually the self-talk that we have is an inflated version of some truth that we believe in our life that doesn't even have to be a truth in our life. Then after you've examined all that, write down the truth that you want to exist. And that is the bedrock of your affirmations. So if you have negative self-talk about your body image and you say, oh, I should weigh 20 pounds less. Oh, I just don't fit into these jeans. I don't look good. Write those things down. Brutally honest, write them down. Then write down what your truth should be or what you want your truth to be. I've come so far. I'm so glad that I have the body awareness to know that I want to change my body. I have the power to change my body. I have the resources to be healthy. I know that by taking care of my body, by taking care of myself, I'll be a happier person and that will be a gift to everyone else in my life. I just kind of went on a tangent there, free, free form, but that's how easy it is to create your own positive affirmations. You find one negative piece of self-talk, you write down the truths that you want to exist in that area and you just go for it. How about negative self-talk around communication. There's someone who I know, and I used to be really close friends with her, but she had a really, really negative pattern and was really refusing to change it. And so I removed myself from that negativity. So we're not around each other that much anymore because I, I don't expose myself to negativity. Beside the point, she talked so badly about herself. Oh, I'm so old. I'm so wrinkled. I'm, I, I always mess things up when I'm talking to people. She was actually looking for areas where she was going to mess up when she was talking with people. And then later on, she would go back and she would text them a full explanation of what she really meant because she knew deep down inside, it wasn't really true. It was just what she had talked herself into. She knew that she had just put her foot in it and that these people just thought that she was a complete idiot now. Most of the time that wasn't true, but she would send, I don't know, a long, long line of text so that you just have to scroll and scroll and scroll. Side note, if you're sending enough text that people are gonna have to scroll, it's too much. Call. There's an entirely different video on that though, uh, so you can go check that out. <laughs> it's uh, just search for texting on, on Guild's channel. But that person, her negativity, was creating more anxiety for her. So if she'd have a conversation with somebody, she would go back to her office or to her room or in her car and she'd, she'd replay the conversation in her life as though she can change it and do something different. So some of the truths, if she would do this exercise, which I hope she sees this, you know who you are. <laughs> I hope she sees this and she'll actually do this. Some of the truths that she may write down for herself are I'm not good at speaking with people. I always put my foot in my mouth. I don't express myself well to other people. So in looking at those 
truths in her life right now or what the truth of her self-talk is saying, she can say, okay, well, what do I want to feel? I am a good communicator. My opinions matter. The things that I have to say are important and I communicate them in healthy and respectful ways. People listen to me. When I speak, people care. When I speak, people hear me. My opinion matters. I am intelligent. I respect myself enough to know when to share my opinion and when to keep it to myself. Just some ideas. Again, just freestyling this. You get the idea. If you need more help creating your own affirmations, please leave some comments down below or go to guildcoaching.com and send me an email. It'll come straight to me and I promise that I will answer it personally. Also, let us know your biggest takeaway in the comment section below. Just type, type your biggest takeaway here, something that you're going to put into action in your life. And don't forget to check out that guided session playlist that we have for you because there are I am affirmation sessions on there that can either be used by you on a daily basis or can help you while you are developing your own affirmations. If this has, this has been of use to you, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so that you will learn the next time that we drop a video to help you live a better life with more success, more happiness and lower stress. We'll see you next time.